Hello there, this is Randil. Welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to teach you reported speech. This is the fourth video in this series on reported speech. In my first and the third videos, we already covered all about reported statements and changes you need to make when you report them. In my second video in reported speech part 2, we already discussed some important information and theory on reported questions, commands and requests. Since this is a revision lesson, you would better watch my second video on reported question. Then you would be ready for this lesson. In this revision lesson, I have already included 25 questions which can be repeated in reported speech. Among them, you can find a mixture of yes-no questions and wh questions. If you watch my second video on reported speech part 2 and this video together, you can have a better understanding on reported questions and changes you need to make when you report them. Then join me in this lesson. If you are ready, let's begin. Reported speech revision part 2. As I stated in the introduction, I am going to discuss WH questions, yes no questions and how we can change these questions from direct speech into reported speech. First example, where are you going? The police officer asked us, where are you going? In direct speech. In reported speech, the police officer asked us where we were going. Where are you going is a WH question. When we report WH questions, we must change it into statement form. So, where are you going changes into where we were going. Simple present changes into past simple. Pronoun you changes into pronoun we. Question mark changes into a full stop. Second example. What time do the banks close? Claire asked, what time do the banks close? In direct speech. In reported speech, Claire wanted to know what time the banks closed. What time do the banks close? In question form, changes into what time the banks closed. Do close is present simple. It changes into past simple. Closed. Let's move on to the third example. How old are you? Anne asked, how old are you? In direct speech. In reported speech, Anne asked me how old I was. How old are you in question form changes into how old I was in a statement form. Present simple to past simple. Pronoun you changes to pronoun I. Let's move on to the next example. What do you do in your spare time? The lady asked me, what do you do in your spare time? In direct speech. In reported speech, she wanted to know what I did in my spare time. Do in present simple changes into did in past simple. Pronoun you changes into pronoun I. Your as the possessive adjective changes into my. Let's move on to the next example. How long have you been working in your present job? She asked, how long have you been working in your present job? In direct speech. In reported speech, she asked me how long I had been working in my present job. Have been in present perfect continuous. Changes into had been in past perfect continuous. You changes into I. Your changes into my. Let's move on to the next example. Why did you apply for the job? She asked, why did you apply for the job? In direct speech. In reported speech. She asked me why I had applied for the job. Did apply in past simple. Changes into had applied in past perfect. Pronoun you changes into pronoun I. Let's move on to the next example. Can you speak in foreign languages? She asked, can you speak any foreign languages? In direct speech. In reported speech. She wanted to know if I could speak any foreign languages. Can you speak any foreign languages is a yes no question. When you report them, you can use either if or whether before the reported question. Can you speak in question form changes into I could speak in statement form. Can changes into could. You changes into I. Let's move on to the next example. Have you got a driving license? She asked, have you got a driving license? In direct speech. In reported speech, she asked me if I had got a driving license. This question is also a yes no question. 
you can use either if or whether. Have you got in present simple changes into had got in past simple. You changes into I. Let's move on to the next example. Where have you been? She asked, where have you been? In direct speech. In reported speech, she asked me where I had been. This is a WH question. So we use the WH word before the reported question. Have been in present perfect. Changes into had been in past perfect. Pronoun you changes into pronoun I. Let's move on to the next example. How long have you been back? She asked, how long have you been back? In direct speech. In reported speech, she asked me how long I had been back. Here, have been in present perfect changes into had been in past perfect. Pronoun you changes into pronoun I. Let's move on to the next example. What are you doing now? She asked, what are you doing now? In direct speech. In reported speech, she asked me what I was doing then. Here, are doing in present continuous changes into was doing in past continuous. Pronoun you changes into pronoun I. The time expression here in this question is now. Now changes into then. Where are you living? She asked, where are you living? In direct speech. In reported speech, she asked me where I was living. Here are living in present continuous changes into was living in past continuous. Pronoun you changes into pronoun I. Let's move on to the next example. Why did you come back? She asked, why did you come back? In direct speech. In reported speech, she asked why I had come back. Did come in past simple changes into had come in past perfect. Pronoun you changes into pronoun I. When are you going to return my books? She asked me, when are you going to return my books? In direct speech. In reported speech, she asked me when I was going to return her books. Are going to changes into was going to. Pronoun you changes into pronoun I. Possessive pronoun my changes into possessive pronoun her. Let's move on to the next example. Where are all my papers? Sam asked Harry, where are all my papers? In direct speech. In reported speech, Sam asked Harry, where all his papers were. Here are in present simple changes into were in past simple. Possessive pronoun my changes into possessive pronoun his. Let's move on to the next example. Are you going to sell his house tomorrow afternoon? Lily asked Sam, are you going to sell his house tomorrow afternoon in direct speech. In reported speech, Lily asked Sam if he was going to sell his house the next afternoon. Here. This question is a yes no question. Therefore, we need to use either if or whether. Are going to in present simple changes into was going to in past simple. Pronoun you changes into pronoun he. Time expression in this question is tomorrow afternoon. It changes into the next afternoon. Let's move on to the next question. Do you know that you will be required to fill in the examination form today after school? Mr. Rangil asked, do you know that you will be required to fill in the examination form today after school? In direct speech, in reported speech, Mr. Rangil asked his students if they knew that they would be required to fill in the examination form that day after school. Here, this question is a yes no question. Remember, we always use if or whether before the reported question. Do know in present simple changes into new in past simple. Pronoun you changes into pronoun they. Will be in future simple changes into would be. In this question, today is the time expression. Today changes into that day. Let's move on to the next example. Which bag is yours? Peggy asked Sue, which bag is yours? In direct speech, in reported speech, Peggy asked Sue which bag was hers. Here is in present simple changes into was in past simple. Yours pronoun changes into hers. Let's move on to the next example. Are the children having a party tonight? Mr. Ben asked his wife, are the children having a party tonight? In direct speech, in reported speech, Mr. Ben asked his wife whether the children were having a party that night. 
Here, look at this example. This is a yes no question. Remember, we always use if or whether before the reported question. Therefore, you can use only one of them. Are having in present continuous changes into were having in past continuous. The time expression in this question is tonight. Tonight changes into that night. Let's move on to the next example. What do you want? She asked me what do you want in direct speech. In reported speech, she asked me what I wanted. What do you want is a WH question. We always use WH word before the reported question. Do want in present simple changes into wanted in past simple. Pronoun you changes into pronoun I. Let's move on to the next example. Where did Sam go yesterday? She asked, where did Sam go yesterday? In direct speech. In reported speech, she asked where Sam had gone the day before. Here, did go in past simple changes into had gone in past perfect. Yesterday is the time expression in this question. Yesterday changes into the day before or the previous day. But you can use only either of them. The day before or the previous day. Let's move on to the next example. Do you want coffee? She asked me, do you want coffee? In direct speech. In reported speech. She asked me whether I wanted coffee. Here, this question is a yes no question. Always remember if or whether can be used. Here, you can use only one of them. Do want in present simple changes into wanted in past simple. Pronoun you changes into pronoun I. Let's move on to the next example. Do you like an apple? She asked me, do you like an apple? In direct speech. In reported speech. She asked me whether I liked an apple. Here, this question is a yes no question. Therefore, remember to use always if or whether before the reported question. Do like in present simple changes into like. In past simple, pronoun you changes into pronoun I. Let's move on to the next example. Why is the baby crying? He asked her, why is the baby crying? In direct speech. In reported speech. He asked her why the baby was crying. This is a WH question. Therefore, remember to use WH word before the reported question. Is crying in present continuous changes into was crying in past continuous. Let's move on to the next example. Does this hotel have a swimming pool? The guests inquire, does this hotel have a swimming pool? In direct speech. In reported speech, the guests inquired if that hotel had a swimming pool. This is a yes no question. Therefore, remember to use if or whether before the reported question. You can use only one of them. Does have in present simple changes into had in past simple. That's all for today's lesson on recorded speech. We have come to the end of our presentation. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you find this video important and useful, subscribe to our channel and alarm the notification bell. If you have any comments, drop them in the comment section below. I will talk to you there. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye now.